We begin tonight with a look at the Yakima City budget. The city is bracing for a shortfall and asking departments, including police, fire and parks, to plan cuts. But that doesn't mean the entire city is in the red. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke to city officials who say it's all a matter of where the money comes from. Most of the city of Yakima's annual budget of $270 million goes to enterprise funds. If you're a Yakima resident, that includes utilities like water, where you pay for what you use and your rate increases annually to cover inflation. The revenue being generated by those, rev by those enterprise funds is enough to cover the cost of providing those services. But since you don't pay for a fire truck or police car to come to your house or to walk through a city park or drive down a city street, those departments fall under the general fund. Three primary sources, utility tax, property tax, and sales tax, that's where we get the bulk of our general fund revenue. But it's unpredictable because sales and utility tax revenue depends on how much people spend and rate increases are minimal. Property tax limited to just 1% a year. But our costs are going up 2% or 3% or last year 9%. We're just not keeping pace. That income is not keeping pace with the rising costs. Legally, the city can't borrow between funds, meaning not using water bill revenue to cover public safety expenses. The city does have some money put away in a reserve fund, but it's not meant for balancing the budget. We can dip in to that savings account if something completely unexpected goes wrong during the year. In the long term, the city could try to increase utility or sales tax rates, but five out of seven city council members would have to agree on it. The city could also increase property property tax, but would need voter approval. The city will provide the level of service that the community is willing to pay for, is able to pay for. And if that means the community is not willing to increase taxes to support a higher level of service, we will have smaller government, we'll have fewer programs and services. For the city, that looks like cuts to summer park programs, fewer police officers and firefighters, and potentially the closure of a fire station on the west side of the city. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Now the city is still going through the budget process to identify the areas where they can make cuts in the short term so that when 2025 rolls around, they won't fall short. And some of those cuts, we're told, have already started.